Why don't the Swiss recycle more plastic? My name is Susan and I recycle what I can. Usually, Switzerland is an easy place to do that, but not when it comes to plastic. I try to avoid plastic packaging where I can, but after just 30 days, look at how much I've accumulated. Let's see what I can recycle here in Bern. Some of the items are so light, weightless practically, but it all adds up. People in Switzerland consume over a million tons of plastic per year. About 250,000 tons go into durable products, but most of it, 780,000 tons, is just for packaging, things that people throw away after one use. In the EU, a third of plastic waste is recycled, a third is burned for energy, and a third goes into landfills. In comparison, Switzerland recycles about 20 to 25 percent of its plastic waste, and the rest gets burned in special facilities that can generate energy. And although Switzerland never buries its plastic, many people wish that they could recycle more of it. Currently, only two types of plastic are easy to recycle. Drink bottles made out of PET, plastic number one, can be dropped off at nearly every shop and in many public places. So people in Switzerland recycle 83% of their PET bottles. Other kinds of plastic bottles, say for shampoo, detergent, milk, cooking oil, are accepted at most grocery stores and municipal dumps. These containers are usually of good quality, and keeping the caps on keeps the collection bins clean. Otherwise, most plastic waste ends up in the garbage. For example, snack and magazine wrappers, yogurt cups, packaging for meat, and all sorts of other plastic items. In most parts of Switzerland, these are considered too complicated to recycle. There's no national system in place, and many towns don't want to start one. So this plastic gets burned in waste incineration plants. That's not a waste, say the authorities. Burning a ton of Swiss household rubbish yields about 2,300 kilowatt hours of energy. But those in favor of plastic recycling argue that recycling a ton of plastic can save 12,000 kilowatt hours by keeping a tighter circle on the resources needed to produce everyday items. Well, even though I can only recycle this much of my plastic garbage, at least I know that the rest can be used to power my city. And more importantly, it won't end up in a landfill or in an ocean.